showering. Are you doing it wrong? Well, if you're lathering yourself up with soap from head to toe, you just might be. In this video, I'll explain why I don't use soap, or well, at least not that much. My brother takes two showers a day, each and every day. One in the morning, and then one after he works out. And I know that millions and millions of other people do this themselves. But if you looked at this historically, or even culturally, this is not the norm. And this practice of daily showering, particularly if you're soaping yourself up and lathering from head to toe, can actually be harmful for four main reasons. The first is most conventional soaps are filled with junk. Chemicals, fragrances, parabens, nasty ingredients, things that can disrupt your hormone balance, they can be harmful to the environment. And if you think about it, your skin is your biggest detox organ, so you don't wanna clog it up with all these different chemicals that some of them, which our bodies don't even recognize. The second reason is soaps interfere with our natural pH on our skin. It's a very delicate balance, and if you're washing and scrubbing it with soap every single day, you can create a very dry skin condition. I think most of my friends I know struggle with dry skin, and I think a lot of it's just because we're washing away our natural oils all of the time. Interesting to note, some people's skin react the other way, and they actually become extra oily because their oil glands are actually overcompensating. So they might struggle with acne and pimples just because their skin is trying to maintain that balance as best as it can. This is also particularly true with children. Little kids don't really need a lot of soap. On their hands, yes, their butt, fine, but on their body, no. In fact, sometimes eczema can actually be caused just from overwashing your child's skin. Three, soaping too much can interfere with your vitamin D absorption. Did you know that our skin helps to absorb this really important vitamin, it's actually a hormone, vitamin D from the sun. And actually it takes up to 48 hours after we've been exposed to sunlight for our body to fully absorb that D. So if you come home after being outside all day and scrub away at that your skin and wipe away those oils, oils, you're going to actually prevent full absorption of that vitamin D. Um, so something you can think about, for example, when we go to the beach, we live in Florida, it's very hot, so I usually do use sunscreen if I'm there for a long time. So when I get home, I will wash that off. However, most days I make the practice of going outside and getting some natural vitamin D with no sunscreen for 15 to 20 minutes, and that way I'm ensuring that I'm getting those good vitamin D levels. And number four, it can interfere with a healthy microbiome. Yes, our skin is part of our microbiome, so it contains good bacteria. That good bacteria actually creates antibiotics that help to fight bad bacteria that we're exposed to, like Staph or MRSA. So you wanna be sure we're not washing this off all the time. Also, this is why skin to skin is so important for a newborn baby, because they are developing and kind of inoculating their microbiome. So as they rest upon you, they're being exposed to this good bacteria. And this, my friends, is why antibacterial soap is so nasty. Okay, first of all, it contains a harsh chemical that's really bad for the body as well as the environment, but also can create antibiotic resistant bacteria that can be really dangerous. So what are we supposed to do? Not shower at all? No, of course not. Being clean is an awesome feeling. So I shower every other day. My husband takes a shower every day, but we're just smart about it. So I don't lather up from head to toe. I just use a very simple soap. I clean my pits and my bits, if you know what I mean. Sometimes I'll clean my feet because I've been outside or walking barefoot, but that's really about it. My favorite soap to use is called Kiss My Face Olive Oil Soap. It has three ingredients really simple and pure, doesn't dry out my skin. With my kids, I give them a bubble bath about once a week because they absolutely love it. And then we'll rinse them off after the beach or after a messy diaper or something like that. But that's about it. I try to keep it to a minimum because I learned the hard way. With Griffin, I was in this routine when he was three months old. Every night before he went to bed, we'd do a bath and then bedtime and stories. And I'd put him down for the night. Well, he started to develop little patches of eczema. So, so I just stopped bathing and sure enough, it went away. And so even now, if he gets in too many showers or baths, it'll start to come back. So I just keep his bathing to a minimum so those natural oils and those natural bacteria, good bacteria, can do its job. With Paloma, she's lucky she gets a bath once a week and she's got beautiful skin, never has had eczema. So something to think about. Now I'd love to hear from you. Do you shower every day? What kind of soap do you use? Share with me in the comments below. And thanks as always for tuning in.